Hey guys, this is part two of our propane troubleshooting series, and we're gonna be talking about your propane refrigerators today. The first thing you wanna do is to be sure that your propane is turned on, and one way to check that to be sure that it's getting to the fridge is make sure your propane stove or another propane accessory is working properly before you start diagnosing the fridge because it may just be that you're not getting propane back to the fridge. Next thing you wanna check is to be sure that your refrigerator is on, which for our refrigerator and a lot of them out there um, is the on off switch has to be depressed and then you either want auto or gas. This just depends that if you want it to switch over to gas when you're unplugged and then switch back to electric when you're plugged in. For our case, you would want it in the up position. The third thing you wanna check is to make sure that your breaker is not tripped on your panel itself. This may affect on your model of camper the ignition of the propane on the refrigerator. And the last place we're gonna check for problems is gonna be in our access panel on the outside of our camper, but on the back side of our fridge. Um, your access panel is most likely gonna look like this with the louvers, and you just twist these two knobs here and then pop it off. And then you can see how much is actually going on back here. There's a couple of different things you can check. You can check your wiring, make sure there's no cuts in it. You can check your hoses, make sure there's no leaks. If you see any yellow powder, that is a, a Freon or a gas leak. Um, and that means that your fridge needs to be replaced. So my personal opinion is don't touch anything back here unless you are confident that you've done it before. Um, you're experienced in um, working on stuff like this. But if you're not, I would recommend that a professional take a look at it and decide what needs to happen. Well guys, hopefully some of these tips help you to solve the problem that you're having with your RV refrigerator. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.